Hello and welcome to episode 49 of Idol Slayer 100% Achievement Journey. Today we get a bunch of achievements, finish the left building, and explore patch 4.1 which includes a fair amount of lore, dialogue and such. Offline gains, daily quest, those are achievements I get without recording because I don't DVR. First thing we'll look at, I spent real money a little bit to get two key upgrades. Something is strange though, because I don't remember having bought the CPS bonus ones in the past. I thought I bought the SP ones, but uh, I would have to verify. Anyways, I'm going to buy 10% bonus souls and 15% bonus souls while playing active, of course, and I will never buy the ones on the right. And all those are pretty attractive but very expensive so i doubt i'll put more money unless i really need to we'll see in the future so this video will consist of several short cuts where i get a bunch of achievements this is my last uh, deposit i'm going to show you because after that i'll reach the point where i'm ready to make the left building then i stop playing well i continue playing because i was farming for sp but I was waiting for the patch before I completed the left building. Look at these bonuses. All piled up nicely. This will enable me to get a nice achievement. In a second called. Nice claw. So level 100 claw. First time I reach that. It's going to get more and more expensive. But we're making progress slowly. Even though I found quite a lot. Another pile of random box events which lead me to another achievement, a key achievement, 10 Sex Decillion. Now the 10 QT will come naturally. Uh, I was going to not ascend for a long time, I decided against it after all. The 10 QT per second, by the way, amazing cape as well, it will happen naturally over time. In fact, my goal was uh, 1 trillion accession CPS bonus, then I would have uh, stayed there to get a 10 QT, but I changed my mind, which is going to happen by itself. So this is the new patch already, 4.1, increase the drop rate chance by 3%, and this is 10% chance of getting two materials instead of one. Creating the two buildings wasn't that tedious, but it would have been nice to have it during that time. Still, if I want to make rage pills or use compass in the future, well, I'll get my mats back a little quicker. Now we're gonna go to the village and see what kind of new content was added in patch 4.1. But first we're gonna finish the left building after all this time I've been waiting. And now it's time to do it. Deposit the last pile of wood. Finish the building. And that's going to give me three quests. Let's check it out and uh, I'll uh, look at the rewards a bit later in the video. I will complete one of them during this episode. Next episode is episode 50. I might make something special because it will be our 50th episode but anyways I'll finish the two other ones. So in fact the bottom one, Joey's Hint, will finish it today but the two top ones will be next episode. And uh, now it's time to see what's new. So I was clicking everywhere. There's going to be a fair amount of dialogue. I'm going to show it all. I don't know if there's anything on YouTube about patch 4.1 yet. But anyways, if you're familiar with all this lore and dialogue, check out the timestamps. Otherwise, I invite you to watch this. And also, at the end of the video, I'll put a recommended video that some of you might know, but it exploded or exploded. In proportion to uh, the views I used to have, it's called the Entity uh, because we're gonna look at stuff that might have a relation with this. More on that in a moment. So here, I still have difficulty with this one. There's a question mark over somebody's head. So this character will give me a new evolution. And we're gonna look at it later on when I get out of the village. Electric Yetis. So I already have enough money for that. It's 7.5 decillion, so all good. And we'll see how they look like. 
And then here, she's gonna offer me beer. I only took two beers. I read on Discord some people took a lot of beer. It doesn't seem to do anything. Please let me know if I missed anything here. I really try to click everywhere, talk to everybody, not to miss anything. But uh, I think I have everything. If I missed anything, it's very important that you let me know. You're trying. <laughs> You're gonna see me try things twice sometimes, just in case. But here, it doesn't give anything. So let's keep going. So this is the tavern that I built, isn't it? It was closed when I built it, but anyways, now it's open. Still talks about his daughter, so no change here. And then uh, nothing. So I turned around. I'm gonna fast forward this. And all of a sudden, a new event. There you go. So things are going to be interesting. So this is the lore I was talking about, by the way, I forgot to click, I thought it would just go by itself, you can read on your own, I'm not going to read for you, but um, yeah, so this is some lore surrounding the game, we talk about the monolith, reminded me of 2001 Space Odyssey or 2010, the year we made contact, I love these two movies, but anyways, made me think of that. But it's not exactly, in fact, it's not really that. It would have been amazing if there was some sort of reference to those movies. Okay. So now we have access to another part, which is, I guess, the forest. Here's the fella with his daughter, talking about his daughter. And there's a monolith that right there doesn't look like 2001 Space Odyssey at all. I said if it looks like it, I'm gonna try to add the same sound effect as in the movie. Probably get some copyright problems though. <laughs> so something happened because I interacted with it and he's all surprised. Bunch of enemies spawn, and I have to do something about it. Do some things, they have all. It even gives me SP and a little bit of money. When I look at the footage, um, I'm gonna show you something. So they have all again, right? Okay, and then more mobs. He says he doesn't think it's working. There's the option to slay them all again. I said, oh, maybe I can farm here, but it doesn't give much. <laughs> a few thousands. I need 500 billion for my next upgrade, so I don't think I'm gonna farm here. I destroy the monolith and I find Sarah, his daughter. She doesn't look too well, though, to be frank. So this is a bit uh, strange, I didn't expect that to be frank, uh, but okay, <laughs> this is somebody in the monolith, we're gonna know more later on, because the lore stops at a certain point. Then the, is that the mayor, mayor shows up. So yeah, it's all dialogue. Don't forget, if you get bored, you will just go timestamps. But if you haven't seen that, I invite you to stay because there's going to be an interesting area that you might have heard of. So I'm gonna follow him. It's strange because when I was playing, it didn't feel long. Right now, it does feel long. <laughs> so he's talking about also. So, so he's saying uh, that it's pretty weird and uh, keep it quiet, whatever.
what I'm gonna do next episode is come back to the village um, to see if something changed. Probably not. For what I read on Discord, that's pretty much it in the village. So here I'm going to go back though. There's a, uh, I don't know if you saw it for one second, it showed, but there's a question mark over his head. I'll finish this, then I'll be done with the village for now. But after I visit the area I'm talking about, um, I want to go back. So next episode, I'm going to go back without recording. Just uh, while I'm preparing next episode, I mean, I'm going to go back without recording just to make sure I'm not missing anything. But I'm pretty sure I covered everything. So that's the pickaxe that I found before. He wants me to use a pickaxe to free his daughter. Grip boots. I think it makes you run faster in the village or something like that. If you go to the right, look at that. There's some sort of tower. That's pretty interesting. It reminds me of Leaf Blower Revolution. Maybe there's going to be a tower of sorts. Move faster in the free roam dimensions. Free roam dimensions would be where I can walk left or right if I want to. Um, and let's take a look at the rewards from Joey's quest. So more in-game souls that's nice and then more souls from criticals that's also nice and more cps 30 percent of my current cps every time i pick up coins or something like this was so pretty nice these are nice upgrades especially the sp ones it's gonna help me because i'm really trying to get that 500 billion upgrade i'm obsessed with it i'm at 133 if i'm not mistaken oh right there <laughs> 133 billion uh, and bonus stage 2 is now in the tree so they refund the divinities so I need 500 billion so that would be a third isn't it no one two three well a little less than a, a little more than a fourth uh, divinities I got 230 I don't know how to spend them yet I'll figure this out by next episode also so we're back in the desert and we're going to the frozen fields. I look at that, they change the UI, which is nice. It looks nice like this. But anyways, we're going to go in the frozen field because I want to see, first of all, I want to see if there's an event that pops, which is not the case, but I want to see also how the new Yetis look like. Okay, I killed them a bit quick, those ones, but the new electric yetis look like that. Okay. And I'm close to be done with Joy's Hint. I'm gonna keep going. And then uh, that area I was talking about is from those boxes and you got 10% chance of getting a black portal. Brings you to the temple. I was very excited to come here. I thought it would be some sort of a dungeon. Some sort of a dungeon. And it might become that later on. But for now... Well, I don't know. Maybe the tower will be... It's hard to say. It's, I could speculate all day. But let's explore this area. It was pretty cool to see that for the first time. Have you seen it on YouTube before? Or is it the first time? Please let me know in the comment if I'm the first to show this. I didn't check. Okay. We're gonna see some lore. Some animations. So is it the same person who's been talking to me at the beginning of the... I think it's episode 46, isn't it? Uh, it's coming for us when I wake up and it says it's coming for us is it him? I don't know so we get some backstory here we can see the silhouette of characters that we have but maybe one is not recognizable
So it's the temple between dimensions where there was training and then an ascendant was different. Does it have to do with Marty? By the way, this Marty name, where does it come from? Is it a fan name? Some players said uh, his name is Marty. Or is it officially his name? By the way, the entity video will be at the end of this uh, episode. I invite you to watch it if you missed it. But so many people are watching it today. <laughs> uh, so is that Marty? But why this name though? I don't know. Anyways. All of this is all mysterious, but over time we'll uh, get more lore, more story, and it will all make sense one of these days. And I sense there's going to be some sort of final boss for sure. Not yet though. So I still have a long way to go, I would agree with that, because this insane upgrades, so expensive. Keep training! Yeah, but I want to fight a boss. No, I'm not really, in fact, doesn't exist. That would be a placeholder, I believe. I don't think it matters how strong you are. So here I'm just going to explore the rest of the building to make sure. I'm even going to go back, make sure that, I don't know. Can I get back in the door or something like this? Nope. That means we're done. So that's the new lore. Uh, it sends me back to the bonus stage, through the normal bonus stage too, but I don't need to show you that. We've seen enough of that. Mega Horde. I'm just gonna get rid of that using um, Rage Mode, and then we'll look at achievements. I made a little bit of progress, but it takes a long, long, long time. It's lasting longer than before, right? Because I bought some upgrades. Oh yeah, we're gonna go to the jungle first. Forgot. That's because we have an no, she made a quest to kill 10,000 poison mushrooms. It's gonna be pretty easy to do. Again, episode 50 will have completed these two quests. And I'm pointing to what it gives again. It has to do with SP. Quite nice. Achievements. 433 three out of 457. So the next money base one is 1 ST coins. It'll take a while before I can reach that. And once again, the 10 QT per second will come naturally as I continue to ascend at about 10% of my lifetime SP gains. And that's close to 1 trillion, isn't it? Ascension CPS bonus. But as I said, I won't stop at one trillion. I'm just gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. But I will not draw a cent for a while. I didn't check how many points I have in reserve. I'm at 50 USP plus whatever, maybe four, five, or six. I'm not sure. I didn't check. Forgot to do that. Let's check next episode. After the conclusion, the entity video will be there in case you missed it. This concludes episode 49 of Idol Seer 100% Achievement Journey. I was so happy to see this patch because I was ready to finish the left building and I was just farming for SP and waiting because I didn't have enough footage for a more than 5 minute video, you know. Next episode is episode 50, so I'll try to make something special but I'm not sure what to do yet. I'll think about it. Once again, check out the NCT video if you don't know what I'm talking about. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Check out our Discord channel too, we're approaching 200 people and it's a nice community. You can also get a special role if you support me on Patreon. See you around.